Hello, today I'm going to talk about real-time applications. Building real-time applications is more challenging than building static or semi-static applications. They are harder to scale because of the amount of data involved. Uh, more data means more bandwidth and more resources. And also they are more complex. Uh, clients may consume data at different pace and the application needs to keep track of what messages, what data has been delivered and consumed by each of the clients. And that, of course, is not an easy task. Fortunately, there are services such as PubNap, which can greatly help us when creating and running a real-time application. So how does it work? PubNap has its own infrastructure. Uh, clients subscribe to channels using one of the multiple client libraries or SDKs. Currently, there are more than 70 available for different programming languages and frameworks. So those channels are used to receive messages and also to publish messages. Uh, there are multiple use cases for this technology, such as Internet of Things, mobile device communications, you do not need your own server up and running uh, for two mobile devices to communicate with each other. They can communicate through PubNap. And also another interesting use case, it's backend and web frontend communication. In this case, one still needs to have an HTTP server in order to serve the initial JavaScript. But after that, all the communication can happen through PubNap channels. So your backend and your frontend both are clients of the PubNab infrastructure. While exploring PubNab, I developed a simple real-time application. The source of data for the application is Twitter. The application gathers tweets in real time using the Twitter streaming API. And then it sends the tweets to PubNab channels. One channel for the tweets generated in the United States, another channel for those generated in the UK, and a third PubNap channel for those generated in Spain. Ultimately, the messages are consumed by the Angular web clients which subscribe to one of those three PubNap channels. Okay, so let's see the application in action. You can see that I'm already serving it. So I can open uh, a new tab. I'm gonna point it uh, to the application, the default Angular port. And you can see that by default, we are listening for tweets generated in the US, but we are not getting any messages. That's why I haven't started uh, the backend yet, so I'm gonna start it. Okay, it's running now, and we already see that we are sending Twitter messages, right? So let's go to the front end, and yeah, I can see these are the tweets. Already, many of them have been received. I'm scrolling down, and we are receiving more and more and more. Uh, blue color means uh, tweets generated in the United States. So I'm going to go all the way up and I can change the channel in real time. So now the UK. This is just uh, changing the channel to which this Angular application is subscribed. So now I have changed it to the UK. I need to scroll down all the way to the bottom and then I see tweets in green color. That's why uh, green is the color of the uh, United Kingdom tweets in this case. So I can also open another uh, tab, right? So again, localhost 4200. And here, yeah, by default is the US, right? Like before. So I can change it to Spain, right? And now if I scroll down, you see, I started to see tweets in yellow because that's the color I selected for Spain. And in the other tab, I keep receiving the tweets from the UK. 
so I have stopped the backend so we are not receiving more tweets but um, I can show you one of these uh, tweets uh, for example this one so you can see that it's uh, a real tweet and we can see that in each message uh, published on PubNap there are different amount of tweets in the case of the uh, tweets sent from Spain we can see that there are five tweets per message right and in the case of uh, United Kingdom tweets there are 10 tweets per PubNab message so and if you go the blue ones which are uh, tweets from United States there are a maximum of 20 tweets sometimes 19 uh, 17 but up to uh, 20 tweets like here so this is configurable uh, at the back end so we can see here is my configuration data I have masked it but you can see that here the maximum amount of tweets per message is 20 for the United States, 10 for the UK and 5 for Spain. So we can change these parameters uh, to play with the workload that we want in our PubNav messages. Okay, so let's have a look at the code. So it's quite simple to send a message to the PubNav infrastructure. You need to first create a PubNav configuration object and then uh, set the publish key and the subscribe key basically that's it you can see that I have masked them the keys here I have also some other keys for the Twitter streaming API and then uh, for the front end it's very similar I also have actually the same uh, keys the public key and my subscribe key and basically yeah we also uh, create a PubNap object and we subscribe to a channel and then when we receive a message asynchronously on that channel we basically uh, inform the observer so the front end can uh, display display the tweets inside that message so you see it's quite simple but it's it provides a lot of help when building a real-time application so the developer can focus and what what we like right we like to code that's what we like we don't want to you know deal with the whole infrastructure and with the scalability issues so that's why uh, PubNap it's uh, very useful in this case I'm going to wrap it up here so I'm not going to dig into the demo application code uh, but it is available on github uh, one repository for the backend and then another repository for the angular frontend and I shall add the links on this video so feel free to look at the code online or clone the repositories. Okay, so finally, I just remind you that uh, we have seen that the PubNap platform is able to keep up with the Twitter streaming API. That means that it's quite fast and very low latency. Um, and this is actually the free tier of PubNap. I have not paid a cent to use PubNap. I have just signed up uh, for a developer account on pubnap.com and then I got access to the free tier which seems to be quite powerful as we have seen today. So feel free to do the same and start building your own real-time applications with PubNap and that's all. Thanks for watching.